Hey, these motherfuckers hard, I ain't gonna lie. It's probably one of the top shoes in my collection so far, bro. Brand it up, but who can't fumble? Talking pain, bitch, I can't mumble. Got my name for pain and hunger. Gotta say it where we supposed to be. Who used to hang with Jane? What's good, K Mafia? It's your boy, She Loves King, back here with another video for y'all today, man. I ain't gonna yap and talk too much today. I'm gonna get right into it. Today, I'm coming to y'all with another sneaker unboxing, bro. Like, I've been slacking a little bit. I think I've been averaging about only one or two videos per week recently but hey man i be telling y'all i still got a lot of shit in the store bro i'm about to unbox these orange lobster nike sb dunk lows with y'all fam and if i'm keeping it a buck with y'all i got another pair of the lobsters on the way but y'all gonna see them when they motherfucking come game shit we're gonna go ahead and get straight into the video though bro i appreciate y'all for being tuned in go down below drop a like comment subscribe Let's go ahead and let's get straight into it. Look, bro, if y'all hear me talking with a little bit of a list, bro, if you ain't Pete, bro, I got these grills in, bro, like these new motherfucking boys. Bro, I just dropped this unboxing on my channel a few days ago, about a week ago, bro. Shout out to my friends over at Ice Cartel. They hooked me up and sent me these 10 on 10 Moist and Night Grills, fam. So if y'all want to see that unboxing, y'all make sure y'all go watch that video once we finish up here. Promise y'all, if y'all like jewelry content, y'all gonna love that video game. They pass the diamond tester and everything, bro. It's hard, y'all. Y'all saw what they was talking about, bro. Like, do I need to show y'all again, bro? Like, hold up. Look at them motherfuckers. Y'all go watch the unboxing and review I did. Y'all see the motherfucking shine test I did on them and the diamond testing, bro. They passed the diamond tester. They are completely, they're moistenite and everything. But anyways, y'all here for the sneaks. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show y'all them, bro. I'm gonna give a good shout out to my good friends over at pickpop.ru for sending these out to me, fam. I wanna cop some sneakers for the low, some designer sneakers or any of those high affordable price sneakers and shit like that. Those rare finds that you want and you don't wanna pay full price for them. Y'all go tap in with my friends over at Pick Pop Roof. Make sure you use my code KING with two eyes for a specialized discount, fam. You will get $15 off any and all of your purchases, fam. So y'all make sure y'all go shop with them. Go use that discount code so I can keep dropping these unboxings. But let me go ahead and let me show y'all the sneaks, bro. So as y'all see, bro, we got these motherfuckers in from FedEx. I want to say I just got these in about two, maybe three days ago, bro. Y'all see, we got our standard brown box in here. Like most of the sneaks come in, bro. And we're gonna see what the sneaker box looking like in here again. All right, we got that standard Nike SB dunk box, bro. If y'all don't know what SB stand for, with Nike sneakers and everything, this is basically like their skateboard branding under Nike. So any sneaks you see, with Nike that got SB in it. Just for those that don't know, but if you watching this, you probably know that. But yeah, man, anyways, y'all see we got the standard Nike SB box. We got the green, blue, red, yellow, all that. Pretty colorful box, I like it for real, for real. Um, if I was one of them guys that kept like my regular box, my regular sneaker boxes, I would definitely keep this box. I still got some of my regular sneaker boxes back there, as y'all can see, but I'm about to change all them shits out real soon to get like the clear cases, get more of the clear cases and everything. Y'all probably can't see, but I got some to the side over down there and shit, but like, I need some more, bro. I'm running out, so I need some more, so I'm gonna get rid of all my regular sneaker boxes soon, even the Balenciaga boxes, Dior boxes, all that shit, and all them shit's gonna be changed to them regular clear sneaker cases and all that, so stay tuned, bro. I even got some updates I'm gonna do to the room or I'm thinking about doing to the room soon, so if I do them, I'll probably drop another video showing y'all, like, my updates to the content creation room, bro, because I know a lot of y'all fuck with uh, when I did the original video showing y'all my complete setup and shit. So, I might do that tune, but y'all stay tuned. Oh, okay, okay. It is some heat for sure, bro. Hopefully I can get that without it falling out. Man, y'all see that? We got the right sneak right here, dog. I'm gonna work on taking the contents out the box first. We got the right sneak right here, bro. Then it also come with some extra laces I'm gonna show y'all. And of course, we got the left sneak, bro. But let me go ahead and get all this shit out the box for y'all. So first things first, like I said, it come with extra sneaker laces. So to go with the shoes, we got these extra orange standard laces right here, dog. I don't think I really put these in the shoe probably ever for real, for real. Unless I do the mix match shit to rock it with the blue, so. I'll probably rock one with the orange in it and rock one with the blue lace in it one day. If I'm feeling different on some different shit, bro. If I got a nice little fit where I want to mix and match the colors and blend it all in real good. Knowing me, most of the time I like to keep shit simple. So that'll probably be a rare find or a rare sight 
I mean, if y'all ever see me do that shit, but I might, but it's, I, I like the fact that they even include them, because especially the blue, that shit hard, I might just gotta find another pair of blue lace to go with that, for real, for real. But look, man, y'all see right here, we got these motherfucking sneaks right here, bruh, and these shits is hard, like I showed y'all when it was in the box, bruh. These shits is so sexy, bro. If you know, you know, I've been trying to get a pair of orange sneakers in to my collection for a long ass time, bro. Cause I don't really got no orange sneakers, bro. Like the only pair of orange sneakers that I got or the only pair of sneakers that I got that got any orange in it is my DRB 30s. And if you know, like if you've been here on my channel, you know I love my DRB 30s. Probably my favorite designer sneaker overall, but it got like orange and brown in it, some creamish color in it and all that type shit. It's not just like no straight orange or no dominant orange, you feel me? Like this right here, dominant orange, this what I need. Like I'm trying to have flavors in my shoe collection. I need a, a shoe that's dominant in every fucking color on the rainbow, bro. And these orange lobsters, they definitely not disappointing, gang. I don't know if y'all peep too, but it also come with the little, uh, the little band right here. This is a band to replicate, like how when you see the lobsters and Kroger's they used to have, or uh, whatever market you go to and you get lobsters nowadays. And most of the times, in most places or a lot of places, they got the bands wrapped around the claws so they can't claw you. That's what these is. Some people actually wear the bands on the front of their toe box and shit. Me personally, I'm not one of them niggas. Not gonna be one of them niggas. So. These bands probably just gonna be sitting in the box forever or whatever unless I find some other use for it. Yeah, I'm not one of them niggas. I'm not gonna be wearing the band on the goddamn two box. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but again, I appreciate that I come with it because it's the lots of don'ts, bro. It, it gotta get a whole full effect if I wanted to do that, bro. But for real, for the shoe look better like this without the shit on the toe box, gang. But overall, man, just look at that shit. Sexy orange. Sexy, bright, and beautiful color. I really like how the orange Nike symbol is kind of like a burnt orange, um, and it doesn't go directly with the orange colors on here. It kind of reminds me of like a lava orange. When I look at this Nike check, I ain't gonna lie, it kind of remind me of Lava Girl. Like Shark Boy and Lava Girl used to be my shit, bro. But like y'all know how lava always look like melted and molten and shit like that. Like that orange color kind of remind me of some melted ass shit or something like that maybe it's just me maybe i'm tripping if y'all agree though like if y'all get what i'm saying comment down below and let me know or else i'ma feel crazy as fuck bro like y'all can't leave a nigga stranded bro tell me i ain't the only one that see that shit gang and then here on the tongue as well you got your standard nike sb right there on the front gang if i can get that to load you got your standard nike sb right there on the front gang in the orange and white that shit is hard. I like that they made the tag orange instead of doing it white to go with the tongue. The tongues are pretty puffy though, which might take some adjusting to for me because I don't got no other uh, dunk lows that are like the lobsters and all the lobsters come with this kind of tongue to my knowledge. So getting these and then the other pair of lobsters I might have on the way, it might take a little bit of adjusting to, but I think this might actually feel really comfortable. But then here on the inside as well, one of the things that really made me get these Although, I mean, when you're wearing them, you're not really worried about it. But me, I always kind of been a sneakerhead since I was younger, even though I done grew out of it a little bit more. But this, like, checkerboard look and detail on the inside, I really think that's so sexy and just different, bro. I can't really think of another shoe off the top of my head where I don't really seen Nike or anybody at that really do something like that. And I feel like it just brings extra flavor um, and that seasonal like lobster concept to the look. I think it just blends it all together for real, for real. Also here on the bottom, you got your all orange sole right here. Then you got your black going all the way around. Again, just sexy, just again, bringing in and reeling in that whole lobster theme. Without this black right here, imagine how this sneaker would look if it was just orange on orange on orange, bro. Yeah, they will probably still be hard, but this black right here, in the middle, bro, just blends it all together. Just knock that shit out the park and bring it home for real. Like, I'll probably still cop these, but I wouldn't like them nowhere near as much as I do with the black. Like I said, man, this is the right sneaker right here. And again, the left sneaker is going to be the exact same. So it's not really too much to talk about on that, bro. But overall, they look pretty good. They feel really good. The quality looks amazing. I see how it looks on the camera, but honest to God, in person, these shits even look 10 times better. Overall, on a scale of one to 10, 
would I rate these, bro? I probably get these a solid. I'm gonna lie, I probably gotta get these a solid 9.5 or 10, bro. If I said anything else, I would just be a flat out liar, and and I'm not that, bro. So these shits. On oh God, they they really he's one of the best sneakers I got in my collection so far. If it wasn't for the Dior B thirties and just how much I love the fact I can just throw them on and go do whatever and put them on with damn near everything and they always comfortable and everything. Like if it wasn't for them, these would probably be my number one sneaker that I got in my sneaker collection so far, bro. Like I said, easily 9.510, bro. Y'all comment down below right me right now. Let me know how y'all feel about these. What y'all rate these on a scale of one to ten, bro? What other shoes I should get or what other pair of lobster dunks I should get? Like I said, I do got a pair on the way, but I ain't gonna tell y'all which color bro so y'all just gonna have to stay tuned and if you're not subscribed you're gonna have to subscribe and turn on your post notifications that way when i drop that video y'all see it and y'all know like damn he what he wasn't bullshitting he really got another band game like he wasn't bullshitting bro because i ain't i ain't capping with y'all bro fuck i'm a capo you feel me like fuck i'm a capo